Good morning, such a wonderful time. It's a lovely day and God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to this, my channel, please subscribe, like my videos, also comment and encourage me, criticize me as long as it is in line with God's word. I thank you. Today I would like to speak about love. Let's open our Bibles in the book of 1 Corinthians 13, the scripture that we all as Christians, we know it. But today, may the Holy Spirit help us to understand it in a another way so that we can be able to flow with the Spirit of God, right? 1 Corinthians 13, from verse 2, 3, 4, I'll stop, but for a good measure, just read the whole scripture because I think it's one of the shortest because it's from verse 1 to 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging symbol. 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now see, for now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I know I am known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Right. That is the scripture, First Chronicles 13. Let me also read Ephesians so that as we flow to the message title today. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 26 to 27. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. For a good measure, also let us read uh, Mark chapter 12. Mark chapter 12, if you have your Bible. Mark chapter 12, verse 29 to 31. Right. Mark chapter 12, from verse 29 to 31. It reads, sorry, I'm at Luke, eh? I need Mark, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mark chapter 12, from verse 29 to 31. Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. 
And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. I thank you. Right. As Christians, we have one enemy. And this our enemy is Satan. Satan knows what we are given by God. Satan knows what is required of a Christian. So you will find that as Christians, we normally hate one another. We normally cause pain to each other. But we have a problem that we don't understand, we don't realize. Let me not say we don't understand. We don't realize that, oh, this is certain strategy to turn our focus from love. No one can offend you if they are far from you. So expect to be offended by your brother, your sister, because they are next to you. Your friend, because he's next to you. Anyone else, those people that are far away, it takes time for them to come closer to you. This is why we have a good example of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The person who was responsible to the time of his death, crucifixion, it was Judas Iscariot whom was with Jesus all along. He knew everything. He knew everything that was going on. This is why we are required to love. But now the enemy is always fighting this love that we have towards each other. Flow with me because it's just a short message. This is happening to our daily lives, Christian. When I am your friend, we are close to each other. There are things that will happen. It is either our borrow from you it is either i will take your car to go to the supermarket it is either i will borrow your jacket because it is cold there are moments that as friends we may say let me give you this let me lend you this let me borrow you this but at the end of the day satan always comes in into that that just began with love and disturb us so what do you do, child of God? Ephesians 4, from verse 25, 26, 27. Get angry. If your brother offends you, get angry, yes. But do not let your anger go down with the sun and tomorrow and the other days, days coming, days going, while you are still angry. Learn to forgive. The enemy, the devil, is fighting our love. So even as we are attending to each other's needs, we need to put love in front so that if our brother or if our sister can do anything that is not pleasing to us at that moment, or if our brother can make a mistake, we can be able to forgive them. We are in a world, this is why the word of God instructed us our savior jesus christ said enter by the narrow gates hallelujah the narrow gate it is not easy to enter the kingdom of god there are so many traps that the enemy puts for us once again what i'm saying our love is being tested every day and we are failing as christians our love is being tested in our homes our love is being tested even in our churches where we are worshiping god a Christian, your fellow brother, your fellow sister in the house of the Lord can bring offense to you. Exercise love, child of God. If you can love, you are able to forgive. If you can love, you are able to let go of offense. Even if your brother makes a mistake, you can choose to be angry, and forgive at the same time which means it's you take the moment of anger it is allowed Ephesians 4 but the Bible says do not take that that anger must not take you until the next day until the next day get angry for your brother and also leave room to forgive him 
Do not give Satan a chance, even if in marriage, your partner. Have wisdom, child of God. You, we have only one enemy who is Satan. He's always fighting our love because once your love is fought, once your love is brought down, you are going to be destroyed because you are going to be angry. And when you are angry, you lose control. And when you lose control, the devil attacks. He comes in. This is why today we have broken homes. This is why we have today a mother and a daughter they cannot share with each other what the daughter is going through because love has been affected. So do not allow the devil, child of God, to destroy you. Do not allow Satan to take away what God has deposited in you because you have failed to forgive. I love you, child of God. Let us be careful of the tricks of the enemy so that we can be able to defeat him. Once again, let love lead. Learn and meditate on the word of God. You will find out why Jesus Christ said the greatest commandment is love. Love your neighbor.